this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In today's video, we will be discussing five cloud engineer interview questions. But before we do that, just a quick disclaimer, these questions are not guaranteed to be asked at your interview. I've pulled all of today's questions and answers from our website, mockquestions.com. Now, let's get started. Question number one, please discuss the differences between cloud and on-premise computing. When answering a question like this, you should first define each concept and then discuss their differences and similarities. You can either list all the features and benefits of one of the concepts, then do the same for the other, or compare them point by point. The main difference between cloud and on-premise computing is that cloud computing is off-site and hosted by a service provider, while on-premise is managed by the organization, which is responsible for all the aspects of the IT infrastructure. The key features of on-premise computing are that there is a high initial investment, the organization is responsible for all the maintenance and support, hardware and software upgrades must be maintained, and scaling the infrastructure can be challenging. On the other hand, cloud computing has low initial investment, requires no maintenance or support from the client organization, upgrades are automatic and managed by the service provider, and the infrastructure can be scaled as needed. The disadvantages of cloud computing are over on-premise infrastructure are centered around security and control. Question number two, please talk about how cloud computing can help with the reliability and availability of an organization's IT resources. As a cloud engineer, you should be able to describe the benefits of cloud computing. One of the key benefits of this technology is helping organizations maintain access to and the availability of IT resources. You should also be able to describe the technology behind these benefits, including specific features. Be prepared for follow-up questions, which the interviewer will use to explore this topic in more depth. One of the key benefits of cloud computing is that it provides a higher level of reliability and availability to the users. This is because of its use of fault domains. This technology involves two virtual machines so that if one were to fail, the other would be available. The software will distribute and control computing instances across both VMs, so failover is instantaneous. Fault domains can also be employed when upgrading software by first upgrading one virtual machine and then the other. Another benefit of fault domains is that network access and data storage are replicated, ensuring these resources are always available. Question number three, who are the main cloud service providers and which ones have you worked with? This is a very basic general question that can be asked at any time during the interview. Many hiring managers have not been trained in interview techniques and will ask various types of questions at different times during the interview. This unstructured interview style may be distracting, so you need to stay flexible throughout the interview. As always, keep your answer to this question brief and to the point and anticipate a follow-up question or two. I've worked with all three of the main cloud service providers, including AWS, Google, and Microsoft Azure. Each of these has unique advantages and disadvantages. The one I prefer the most is AWS. This is due to their offerings of robustness and the number of different service modules available to hosted customers. The service modules make it easy for any organization to access the cloud services, regardless of their experience working in the cloud. Question number four. How are data centers deployed or transitioned to the cloud? This question seeks to understand your knowledge of how data centers can move from their on-premise location into the cloud. This is a complex operation that involves many steps and coordination of a great number of resources. The timing is also critical so that the move does not impact an organization's operations or result in any data loss. Knowing how to perform this operation is a key qualification for a cloud engineer. Transitioning an organization's IT resources into the cloud can take many forms. It can be a complete move of the data center or a partial move or simply replicating the resources at a cloud hosting site. Each of these requires a great deal of planning and coordination. The objective is to relocate the resources into the cloud without any disruption in the organization's operations or any data loss. When planning a data center move, I pay close attention to which resources will be transitioned, how the move will be executed to maintain continuity of operations, ensuring all the data is backed up to prevent loss, and executing the move when the company's activity is at its lowest, typically on a weekend or during a holiday. I also provision for contingencies just in case issues crop up. Question number five, 
What are the steps used to design and deploy a cloud architecture? By asking this question, the interviewer indicates that they are interested in deploying a cloud architecture, but may not have the experience or resources needed to do this. This probably is one of the main reasons they are looking to hire a cloud engineer. This may have even been disclosed in the job description. When interviewing for this role, a good strategy may be to create a pro forma plan to develop a cloud architecture and present it to the interviewer. This would be especially effective if this requirement was mentioned in the job description. When I am designing and deploying a cloud architecture, I use three distinct steps in the process. The first is to develop a reference architecture. This is based on how the cloud resources will be used and what services the users would like to access. The next step was to create a technical architecture. This involves all the hardware, software, network, and applications required to provision the reference architecture. The final step is the deployment operation architecture. This describes how the technical architecture will be deployed and what resources will be required to keep it functioning. These resources involve the cloud provider's services and those managed by the organization's IT personnel. Thank you for watching. If you want more cloud engineer interview questions, then head over to mockquestions.com today and get started.